Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to develop four-wheel vehicle using MATLAB Simulink. I am straight away moving to the MATLAB. So what we are going to discuss is what we are going to develop is a four-wheel vehicle. So for that, the first component I am going to take it as a generic engine. So I suppose to give throttle to the generic engine. So let me take PC constant, sorry, PS constant. Let it be my throttle is 40 percentage. So I'm using 0.4 as a value. I need a mechanical rotational con reference that is a mandatory for the engine. Similarly, I need a solver configuration. The next step, the output of engine is straight away go to the torque converter. And then the output of torque converter straight away go to the simple gear arrangement. So it's a simple gear. The output of simple gear is straight away go to the tires with inertia. So let me select inertia. And I'm taking a wheel. So in wheel, you are having a different types of wheel. Okay, go to library. Go to Simscape, drive line, go to tires and vehicles, you are having different types of wheels, tire friction parameterized, tire magic formula, tire simple, vehicle body. So in my previous video I used a simple tire, in this video I am going to use a magic formula tire and I need a vehicle body also. So whatever the tire I'm choosing, it's a magic formula. So it's a four wheel drive, right? So first of all, I will fix my uh, tire parameters. Just double click it. It will throw you a pop up window. So from there, you have to select the parameters. Let me choose the rated vertical load is 3000 Newton and longitudinal force as rated load is 3500 Newton. Slip at peak force is, let it be 10. Then go to geometry, make sure that the rolling radius is 0.4 meter and go to dynamics, always mention the inertia. Okay. First go to compilance, I am going to specify the stiffness as well as stamping. Whatever the longitudinal stiffness I am using it, let it be 2 lakhs. And longitudinal damping value is 1000. Inertia, specify the inertia. Make sure that the tire inertia is 2. And then go to rolling resistance. Let it be this is on. I'm going to include the rolling resistance. And the velocity threshold, let it be it's a 1 e power minus 3. And advanced, make sure that the velocity threshold is 1. So these are the parameters I used in the tire. So I'm going to choose 4 tires because it's a 4 wheel vehicle. Okay. So if you want to know the parameters of tire, A refers actually it's axle, H means hub, N is nothing but it is an input force given to the tire 
If you want to measure the slip, you can use the S port. So as of now, the output of gear is straight away connected with the axles. So before that, I need a differential. Let it be, this one is front axle. And this one is rear. Okay. The output of simple gear is straight away connected with the rear as well as the front differential. And then the output of rear S1 and S2 is connected with A respectively. A is nothing but it is an axle. And make sure that all the hubs are shorted. So now all the hubs are shorted. Therefore, you can straight away connect the hub with the vehicle body. So, you are having H port. This is nothing but it is a hub. If you want to apply a force acting on the rear wheel as well as the front wheel, connect NR accordingly to the rear wheel. NR is a force acting on the rear wheel. Similarly, NF is force acting on the front wheel. So this is let me let us make it a somewhat a complex system. So I'm going to include the slope for this vehicle. We take a constant and make sure that it is a slope angle. Let it be whatever the slope value I'm using, it's a tip. You cannot straight away connect this constant with the beta because this one belongs to Simulink. So I need a Simulink to PS converter. Straight away this slope is connected with the beta. If you want to measure the velocity of vehicle as well as the power consumed by the engine, you can use the scope. But you cannot straight away connect it. You need a component called PS to Simulink converter. Just checking the background, go to view, go to style, make a figure color as white, axis color is also white, pen as black. Similarly power consumption. Now the vehicle is ready. So before launching, we have to set all the values. So whatever the throttle I'm using, it's a 0.4, that is a 40 percentage of throttle I'm giving. Go to generic engine. So make sure that it is a engine type is spark type. And maximum power what we are using, it's 150 kilowatt. 
okay don't change if you want to change the parameters you can change according to your design otherwise let it be the default value and go to dynamics always specify the inertia value make sure that the initial velocity of vehicle is 800 rpm and the engine inertia i'm changing it as 0.2 and go to limit make sure that the threshold speed limit is 500 rpm and fuel consumption speed control let it be at default and then go to dark converter make sure that the coast mode modeling is continuous type apply ok and then go to simple gear let it be make sure that the output shaft rotates that should be in same direction as the input shaft so no need to change any other values and then go to inertia the very important one is inertia you have to mention the values let it be the inertia value is 12 in our case apply ok and go to front side of differential go to inertia on the inertia and make sure that the carrier inertia is 0.1 as well as the planet gain value is also 0.1 you have to apply the same value in all the differentials both front side as well as rear side apply ok so now it is done so what about the slope i used its 10 degree of slope and go to the vehicle if you want to change the parameter of vehicle just get inside the vehicle body according to your design you can change the parameters of vehicle let it be the mass of vehicle is 1500 kg the number of wheels per axle is let it be 2 i am not changing these parameters go to drag make sure that the frontal area is 3 drag coefficient is 0.4 add density is 1.18 this add density is a value varying between 1.18 to 1.25 kilogram per meter cube okay so in between that you can fix any values so let me click apply okay now if you run the system now the system is ready to execute now if you run the system this will act as a four wheel uh, vehicle development using an atlab sim link which will give you velocity as output and I measured the power consumption of engine also. Run it. Yeah, let it be done. So if you look at this, how the velocity of vehicle is getting varied from 0 to it is going around up to 50 kilometer per hour with respect to the simulation time so whatever the simulation time you used is only 10 seconds so it is giving you the velocity at the same time if you see the energy consumption by the engine it is coming around almost uh, uh, 60 or uh, 60 60 kilowatt see so whatever the engine capacity is coming around 150 kilowatt whatever the maximum power is 150 kilowatt whatever the throttle which we used is only 40 percentage for that 40 percentage the maximum energy it is consuming it is coming around 60 kilowatt okay approximately 50 percentage less than approximately less than 50 percentage so this is the way you can develop your own vehicle using matlab okay kindly subscribe to the channel if you want to drop a mail use this mail again Thank you.